Okay, let's rank the most hype hair growth supplements out there separating science from facts. First up, biotin, two out of 10. Everybody loves this supplement, but the key is it's not going to have any impact on your hair growth unless you have a biotin deficiency, which almost nobody has. It's not gonna do much. All right, next up, collagen, three out of 10. Most of it gets digested before it reaches your hair follicles. There's really no evidence that it will stimulate meaningful hair growth. It might be useful for skin. In general, it is a nice to have, not a need to have. That's a three out of 10 for collagen. All right, next up, iron. This is an interesting one. Six out of 10 for women, three out of 10 for men. Men, it can have an impact on hair growth when you are iron deficient, as many women tend to be. That said, if your levels are normal or above average, it can actually have a harming effect on your hair growth as well as the rest of your body. Vitamin D3, I'll give it a six out of 10. Low vitamin D is linked to several types of hair loss, although not the most common kind, which is AGA. That said, if you are suffering from it, you know, the supplement will help you regrow some hair. However, if you supplement with it, it may help. It's not the true growth booster that you're probably looking for, but it won't hurt too much. Finally, antigen. The antigen telehealth, it's where you need to go if you want meaningful hair regrowth. We have over 19 prescription treatments that you can take to treat your hair loss. If you're really suffering from male female pattern hair loss, primarily driven by your genes, you're gonna need physician prescribed drugs. And we've got a bunch of them, all the standard ones, some proprietary ones that we've tested here in our lab. Give it a look.